What's going on guys, my name is Jay and today I'm celebrating my 10,000 subscribers, yeah! And this is a very special video for me because I love animation, but it's very difficult to create animations for web. But I found a solution, okay? I'm gonna use Adobe After Effects to create my animation. If you don't know what After Effects is, just search. It's a very, very powerful app for animations and other stuff, all right? I'm gonna install a plugin named Body Moving. It's a free plugin, but you can really um, kind of donate because it's named your own price. So it says $20, but you can add whatever here. It can even be zero, but if you wanna donate and help the developers, please do. Now, after I jump to After Effects, I wanna see what I have in my code. You can see here that I have a very, very simple HTML file. And um, all, the only thing I have is a div. It's empty with an ID of anim. And I have a very basic um, CSS here, still telling a maximum width of 800 pixels. And I'm calling a script, a JavaScript file, which is here, but it's empty, okay? We're gonna add some, some very simple things here later, okay? So this is what we have so far. So let's jump to After Effects. Let's play this animation. 10K subscribers, yeah. So it's very simple animation, but do you know that if you want to actually create animation like this with code, like manually, is very, very difficult. And it's gonna take you a ton of time. So this animation took me maybe like, I don't know, like five minutes to create because it's only like text. And then I just added some uh, presets that After Effects comes with a lot of animated preset that you can just drag and drop. It's very simple. I only have two layers, the 10K and the subscriber, they're regular text, just like Photoshop, you can write. The only thing is that here you can animate and do a lot of cool things, right? So I'm done with this animation. I'm gonna go here to Window, Extensions, and Body Moving, right here. Cool. Click there. This is gonna take like 10 to 15 seconds to load or something, depending on your computer. All right, so now you will see here that our composition, which is this one that is right here, I have only one, you can have a lot more, but I have only one, which is my 10K animation here. All right, make sure you select it, make sure your destination folder is the correct one. If not, you can click on it and change it. And that's it, I'm gonna click render. All right, it's finished, done. I'm gonna click done. Now I'm gonna go back to my code. And now you will see that we have, we have something new here, here called data JSON, okay? You don't need to edit or you know, do anything here. This is just like a bunch of numbers and, and, and coordinates and stuff that is um, creating your path, your design, okay? But everything is in code. So let's close that. You don't need to worry about that uh, file for now. Something else that we need, we're gonna go back to After Effects. You will see a button here um, that says get the player. So we're gonna need this to play the animation on, in, like, in the browser. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click get the player. Make sure you are in your destination. You'll see I have here my index, my script and my data JSON file. And I'm just gonna save the file right there. All right, file saved. Now if I go back, if I go back here, now you will see that we have a Lottie.js. This is the player. Same thing, you don't need to touch this file. Not the data JSON and Lottie.js, you don't need to touch them, okay? What we need to do is add some parameters to this script, all right? And you'll understand in a minute why. So, first, I'm gonna create a variable. Let's name it animation or whatever. We're gonna load our animation. So, it's gonna be body moving dot load animation. All right, oops, just like this. All right, and now here we need to add some 
parameters to kind of the options that we want. First thing, the container. This is like our empty div. So if you go to the index, it's gonna be here. So the div with the ID of anim. So we need to say document dot get element by ID. And this is gonna be anim. Sorry, coma, and we're gonna add another one. Renderer. And this is gonna be SVG. Coma, loop, yes, it's gonna be true. Coma, out of play. That's gonna be true. I wanna be automatically played. And then the path. And this is gonna be our data.json file. And that's it, this is all we need. We're telling that we want the animation to load here in this um, diff with the ID of anim. We want this to render as an SVG file. We want it to loop and out of play and all the design and all the paths of this animation are coming from this JSON file. That's it, let's save it. All right, and now we have the script, but we need to call this Lottie.js. So let's, I'm just gonna copy, paste it. Lottie.js, we need to call it. That's our player. If you don't call it, it's not gonna work. This is like your TV, all right? And then inside that TV is the animation and everything is happening, okay? Everything seems to look, look, is looking good. So let's go. I'm gonna open my website here. I'm gonna reload the page. And look at that. Animation is running. Now I'm gonna take a look at the code. I'm gonna show you the code. This is not a video, okay? So I'm just gonna look at this. So we have the SVG file. We have all the groups. Here's the here's the subscribers. And take a look at all this code. So I think this is very cool. So if you want to add a complex animation to your website, use After Effects with body moving and you're good to go. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Day. Bye bye.